Okay, so this video is going to be about the shape editor in Mosaic and the reason I'm doing this again is because the audio in the old one was very quiet. I didn't know how to work a microphone apparently. So now we're now we've got it figured out so we'll go over this one more time. So in the shape editor, it's it's often in Mosaic. It's all throughout it. So if you open up a cabinet and you go to the parts tab and you double click it and you go to edit shape, it brings you to this part editor. Okay, so this editor screen is available all over Mosaic. It's, you learn that and you can do all kinds of things. So um, it's available there. If you go to your products tab here and you open up a cabinet, it's there. If you go to your hardware library and you go to your uh, part templates, this here, it brings up the shape editor. Um, the shape editor and the operations tab are kind of jointly connected and the banding tab as well. They're all kind of connected into the same menu. But for this one, we're just going to talk about the shape editor. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go through some things you can do in the shape editor. Edit a shape, adjust a, sh adjust a shape, and uh, it's a pretty convenient little tool. So you basically set with X, Y locations and points. So right now I have four points, four, uh, four points driven by X, Y locations on a 2D grid. And you basically, you can add points. So let's say here, I want to add a point to this line and we'll drop it right in the center of these, this line here. You can also take the lot, pick the line and you can add something like a bulge, which uh, adds a little bit of a bump to it. So let's say I add uh, too much bulge. Let's say, uh, three inch bulge so it'll add a bit of a bump to this part then you can also um, add radiuses and stuff so let's say you want to pick the corner here and you want to add a radius of 0.75 you can radius the corner points you can add more points and you can drag them around you can drag them around and they do uh, sort of lock vertically as well which didn't used to be a thing but since they've added that it makes it a lot easier to edit parts you can do stuff like this, add at that, add at that. You can also take custom formulas. So you take your formula, you dump it here, you can grab your uh, X, X location and you can set it by something part width equals blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna go into that part, but you can set custom formulas here for your X, Y locations. Then another thing you can do is instead of doing it that way, you can use an anchor point. So you can anchor this top corner anchor it to the top corner and you can see when you click away and you stretch it that part will keep its location there but this one will change so if we set an anchor point for all these locations then you basically have a totally parametric part setting an anchor point in a and also doing a custom formula are basically two ways to skin a cat there's two ways to do it Formulas are way more reliable and um, they're way more powerful. So you can also, another advantage to that is because sometimes you want to copy and paste a location. If you, in your, uh, mostly in the operations tab, if you're copy and pasting an operation that's got formulas instead of an anchor point, you are copying all the formulas over so you don't have to reset the location of it and then lock it to that corner um, but for certain things it's very convenient then you just don't have to worry about messing around with the with the custom formulas or anything um, here you can also do a dxf in it's not the most uh, it's, it doesn't work the best this dxf in and out but i mean the out works good but the dxf in it just sometimes if the if it's not set up per perfectly the way Mosaic likes to read it, it just goes crazy. So I don't know if that's the best option, but here you can set, add, or remove your dimensions. You can turn off snapping because uh, I don't know why you wouldn't want snapping on, but you may want snapping off for some reason. You can set that. Um, you can also select a certain shape, like say I want to start with you know this tr this type of shape. You can click that; it will clear your current part but you can click that shape. Uh, so you want to start with the slot and then set, set up with that. You can also load it from your library. And here you can save certain things to the library and apply it to this as well. So 
Um, you got to be a little bit careful that you're not overwriting something that you want to use, but this does come in handy. Like say you want to add a plug or something like that. You know, you can set up that and it will drop in. It doesn't, again, it's not the most reliable setup because as you can see, it's not really setting these in the right location, but hey, at least it's a start, right? Mosaic's really good for updates, so I'm sure that at some point we'll have a lot of these things figured out. And uh, yeah, so any, that's basically it for this. And uh, again, it's throughout Mosaic. So you're going to want to learn this menu really well um, and get it all dialed in because there's a lot you can do. You can also, I should note, you can also flip it, put an operation. This is more for the operation stuff. You can flip it and do some different operations on the other side and then flip it back over to to uh, cut it on some the other side sometimes you, you only want certain operations on one side certain operations on the other side uh, another thing too is if you want to view it in 3d this is handy because you want to view what is actually happening on your part you view it in 3d it'll give you that opportunity you can also view it in sketchup it will drop it into sketchup this is the undo button this will give you grid options uh, this will zoom to the extents of the part. Yeah, and that's basically it for, for that. You can zoom in and out. There's your, uh, your different units you can select there. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it for the shape editor all throughout Mosaic. So make sure you learn this well. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.